Ouais, ouais, ouais. Got my family. So we got my dad, Abram Elam, my mom, Shayla Davis, and my, my little brother, Aiden Elam. How old your brother? He's 11 years old. He's in fifth grade. What do you think this has been like for him the last couple of days watching? You know, honestly, I just, I just want him to just, just learn from me and just do better than me. Honestly, my, um, my dad and my, my dad did it for my uncle. My uncle did it for me. My dad and my uncle did it for me. You know, just learn from their mistakes, and you know, I was able to. You know, just take that and run with it, honestly. And I just want him to do the same with me. Right. You told us about that family connection last night. Have you been able to process now that you've been drafted, you're going to take the next steps a bit more about what that means to you? Yeah. Um, honestly, I just, you know, I'm just trying to learn as much as I can, honestly. Learn as much as I can and, and you know, strive to have an immediate impact to help this team win, honestly. That's my biggest thing. I just want to help this team win and, you know, a, the ultimate goal is winning the Super Bowl, so you know that's my mindset right now. Um, and the only way I can feel like I really feel like I can help this team is you know doing the little things right consistently. So that's something I'm, I'm gonna try to do. How much did you growing up watching your uncle play at Florida influence your decision to go there? Um, I think it did it honestly. You know, I think I sat down with my my parents the night before signing day, and um, I put on the self spreadsheet my pros and cons of going to University of Florida, um, pros and cons of going to Georgia. Um, Miami and Colorado, and Florida had the most pros and least cons, so that's why I chose Florida. Did they put the playbook on the plane? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to get asked that question, but um, <laughs> they didn't, honestly. They told me, um, you know, I'll have plenty of opportunity to learn and things like that, but I think I got it today, though. I'm, I'm, I, got it, I got it today, though, so that's all that really mattered, though. So now I can, you know, strive to learn as much as I can so I can play fast and make plays and Get the ball turned over for the offense to go score. So. Um, I think the benefit of doing it the way I did it was, you know, just making sure I made the right decision with as most time as possible to, to get as much, you know, information and as much knowledge um, from teams, I mean, from schools uh, as possible. Um, and, you know, I, I, I think and I believe it benefited me a lot, honestly. And then what was the second question? Just the benefit of playing at Florida and just what, what you got out of that experience, especially in the SEC where Brandon Bean talked about you being very comfortable with going up against some of these receivers in a past or this past season. Um, I think there's no argument that SEC is the best conference in college football. Um, so, you know, being able to compete at a high level, um, win key matchups and things like that, you know, I think it will help a lot transitioning to the NFL. Um, but everything is about what's earned here. You know, it's all about results at the end of the day, no matter what the situation is. So, you know, I just, something I just, I'm just striving to just get better each and every day and, just, you know, striving to learn as much as I can to help, you know, implement my game and, you know, help, um, help amplify the, the players around me as well and learn as much as I can from them too. So, I think what Brandon Bean said last night specifically was um, because of where you played and, and against whom you played, uh, NFL caliber talent. Right. Players that are now in the NFL. So along those lines, do you feel you won't know until you're out there and actually – you know, facing this level of competition consistently across the board, but do you feel prepared at this point to take this next step? I believe I'm prepared, but I also believe I have to keep working, you know, because um, you're only as good as your last performance. So, honestly, um, I don't not believe I don't believe in my past performance. You know, I try to put my best foot forward, and that's something I'm still learning to put my best foot forward. You know, every time you know I step on that field, and you know, I'm just striving to just continue to get better now through this process right now. And on the field, it's all about winning. So that's my biggest thing. And that's, that could be the little things of one-on-ones in practice. And that could be, you know, on the field, playing whatever team we play that week. So. Right, you mentioned at the combine how you embraced being on an island. 
Right, so most definitely. You elevated you. Going to the NFL, a rookie, how do you accept that challenge, understanding, especially opposite Tredavious White, it happens often that, that the guy opposite tends to get picked on a little more. Yeah, so I'm just looking to earn, earn everything I'm given. So, you know, being on that island, you know, I'm going to feel confident. But at the end of the day, you know, I have to go prove um, that, you know, I can have an immediate impact at this, in this league. And um, that's why I'm saying I'm taking the steps right now to strive to get better, chase self-improvement on a daily basis, and ultimately help this team win and long-term goal to win the Super Bowl. So. What do you think allows you to be along those lines so good in press coverage, both like from a physical standpoint and a mentality standpoint? Um, first and foremost, I say mindset. You know, if you you believe you're going to have a bad day, then it's going to happen. If you believe you, you know, you have the ability to stick with this guy and you know, ultimately take the ball away, you know, every single rep, um, then you can do it. So mindset, then I would say trusting in your technique um, and then having the intangibles to go out there and, and do it and be able to run with the guys in this league and stop on a dime and things like that. Um, I think first, like I said, it's mindset and technique and then intangibles at the end of the day. Kyrie, what did you know about the Bills before they picked you? Did you know much about the team? Yeah, so I came with my top 30 visit, and, and I just felt something special. Like, as soon as I got off the plane, it was just something special about Buffalo, you know, that, you know, I could see myself, envision myself, you know, playing here and, and, and making a lot of plays. And that's something I'm going to strive to do. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I think, you know, everything happens for a reason, and it's God's plan for me to be here. So, you know, I'm trying to take my um, talent and run with it. Well. Learn experience, honestly, I would say uh, I think it's a blessing to be here. And, you know, I'm just excited for the next step, the next journey in my life. Kanye, now, uh, me and you spoke at the combine, and you was talking about how you modeled yourself after Darrell Revis. Probably you'd even be better than Darrell Revis. Right. You know, we also talked about, you know, you come to Buffalo, and so can Trey White up like a sponge. How surreal is that moment right now? <laughs> For it to actually come true, I think, uh, I believe, you know, it was meant to be. Um, but, you know, everything, like I said, everything I um, I expect to earn it, you know. There's no promises, no, I don't think just because I was drafted in the first round, I should be entitled to anything. You know, I, I think I have to earn everything that's given to me, and I'm sure I will, you know, and I'm super-duper confident that, you know, I can help this team, you know, um, achieve the ultimate goal and and, and – when the games were supposed to and when the games were not supposed to. So I'm looking forward to it. Have you talked to anybody off the team? If so, what have they said? Can you repeat that one more time? I said, have you talked to anybody off the team so far? Has anybody reached out to you? If so, what have they said? Yeah, so when I first came up in my top 30 visit, um, Tredavious White gave me his number. He told me to reach out to him many times. So I've been trying to pick his brain and learn as much as I can um, about the league. But now I'm trying to learn as much as I can from him about, you know, being a player and about Buffalo. So I'm sure um, I'm going to try to build that, that bond, our relationship, and just learn as much as I can from him. And I can't wait to meet the rest of the guys. But that's the only player I met um, in Buffalo. Tiger, uh, I know your dad played here, I think I counted five different times. What has he told you about uh, playing in Buffalo, about the city? What do you know about Buffalo? He keeps singing a song, a theme song. I'm trying to learn it. That's all I'm trying to learn it. Uh, but <laughs> um, honestly, he, he said it, it was one of the hardest places to play. You know, I don't look forward to that. You know, I come from playing the swamp, and I feel like that's that was an advantage for us to play in, in that swamp. So I just can't wait to play, honestly. I just can't wait to get better and help this team win. win. Speaking of your dad, you talked about how you have you acknowledge that you have to earn everything. Your dad had to earn Right, right. What do you get out of that, out of your dad's experience in, in, in having gone and drafted, and here you are a first round pick? And what do you learn from that, or from what perspective do you gain from what your dad had to go through to where you are now? Um, you know, I, my, my dad and my uncle are really essential in my life, you know. Big part of the reason why I'm sitting right here in front of you today, you know, um, being able to learn from their mistakes and Learning things they didn't know, they didn't know at my age, um, just I think helped me in this process so much and and throughout life and becoming a man. So you know I just would like to credit those guys and give them those fly, their flowers because you know without them, 
without my mom, without you know my family members, I probably wouldn't be sitting in front of you right now. So. Yeah. You just gotta honestly, you just gotta chase self improvement at a, on a daily basis because you know what God gives, He can take away. So um, that's something I I always try to take to myself when I get what I want or when I don't get what I want. So you know you can't get too high on your highs, too low on your lows. You just gotta stay mellow headed. You know, get excited. There's nothing wrong with getting excited, but you can't. You know, you can't take a day off. You can't stop chasing self-improvement because when you do, you know, you can find yourself getting replaced or even something happen to you. But, you know, I'm just, I, right now, I'm just striving to get better, learn as much as I can. Am I prepared to play? Yeah, I played in some cold games. Yeah, I played some cold games. You know, I'm I'm definitely excited to play in cold weather. You know, what I'm saying I'm ready to embrace any challenge. You know, the NFL throws at me, and you know, and I just feel like it's another building block of me. You know, it's another stepping stone of me growing as a man. You know, being able to adjust to adversity but you know I'm some I'm sure you know I'm really confident that I could do it and do it at a high level like I like I know I can so I'm prepared yeah yeah um so I only met Trey two, two times and you know for him to say that um I think that's a big uh what would I say it's a big uh I don't know. I, I, I uh, how would I say it? He, I mean, I would say that it's a big less like. Uh, damn, I don't know how to, uh, I'd be like, I, I would just say, you know, I appreciate him saying that, but you know, it's it's still a lot that I would like to show, improve, and um, you know, I think that's a bigger comp. I mean. I'm stuck on this question right here. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I don't, I don't know what to say. No comment at this point. <laughs> Can you sort of walk us through what, what your night was like last night? I mean, a huge party, lots of friends and family. Right. Having to wait until, you know, pretty late in the evening to hear your name called. And then did you get any sleep before you got on the plane this morning? I did. I slept like a baby. <laughs> um, man, I, I think it was just like a lot of stress, not a stress, but a lot of weight off my back, you know, just, you know, not being in control of the situation and, and coming into a new environment. I was looking forward to it, but you, I just didn't know where, you know, I was expecting it to be Buffalo, but you never know how the draft goes and things like that. But, you know, I got a good feel and I felt like it was something special going to happen in Buffalo when I got off the plane for my top 30 visit. But you know, I'm blessed and I'm grateful now that, you know, I get to accomplish the goals I set out for, you know, my team and myself. I love that team. What are your plans for your 21st birthday next week? I don't know yet. You know, I, I really don't know. I'm just trying to look forward to tomorrow, you know. <laughs> but uh, I'll let you know when I, when I find out. Yeah, still, no matter what, I still want to get better at both, you know. Um, I feel comfortable pressing, and, and my back pedal, I think, uh, I think I'm think i pretty good at that as well, but, you know, I think I, I can always improve, you know, the little things and my fundamentals each and every day because I feel like once you don't work it, you know, you lose it. So um, I'm, comfortable, I'm comfortable at both, you know, but at Florida I was required to play a lot of press man. So um, some people can say uh, I probably look better at press than I do off, but you know I'm comfortable playing both, and you know I'm still eager to learn as much as I can to get better at both. So that's why I would scout myself. Do you find yourself enjoying playing one more than the other when you have the opportunity to play off? Has a different feel to 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think playing off is more reactive. Press is more um, you opposing your will and um, uh, I would say yeah, you more opposing your will and you basically knocking off timing of the receiver. But playing off that's something that's more reactive and you have to be really locked in on your technique. But um, I think it's everything you do um, when it comes to um, press or off is all fundamentals and technique. So that's something I'm just striving to get better at. Most definitely, without a doubt. You know, um, at University of Florida, you know, I got boatloads of NFL receivers I went against every day in practice. You got Van Jefferson, Kyle Pitts, Freddie Swain, Kadarius Toney. Um, the list goes on. You know, a lot of good, like, receivers and tight ends. So um, I think, you know, going against, you know, Diggs and um, everybody else in the receiver core and the tight end core, you know, um, it's something I look forward to. You know what I'm saying? Pushing those guys, and I'm sure they'll push me back. You know, I think I don't. I don't think it's gonna be a cakewalk, and I don't think it's gonna be too hard either. You know, what I'm saying uh, I'm confident in myself um, and my abilities, and you know, I can't wait for practice because you know I think I'm an ultimate competitor, and I'm sure those guys are too. So I look forward to it. Felt relieved. I feel at home, um, you know, when you like, you get home and you just fall in bed before taking all your clothes off and showering. Like, I just felt so relieved and so at home and so at peace. Um, like I said, I had no control over the draft, you know what I'm saying? I just had to go out there and compete at the combine and pro day and, you know, put your best foot forward. But at the end of the day, you don't know. You can't, you're not picking yourself, you know, so you're out of control. It's not college anymore where you're, where teams are recruiting you to go to their school. Like, you're basically trying to promote yourself. So, um, you know, I felt relieved when I got off the plane. I felt at home, you know, and I, I really believe that something special is going to happen here.